Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Kelly with his movie, Senior Love Triangle. Let's take a look at the clip. I've had a very rich life, but I do think there are some things missing. Like what? Ever since you moved, you spent all of your time with her. He has a history of being violent, and he's delusional. I'm going to take care of you. You can't take care of yourself. That's true. I never thought about that. Kelly, congratulations on your film. Thank you. I'm, I'm so proud of, of, of what you've accomplished. Um, it's actually one of the best independent features I've ever seen. It's really fantastic. Wow, thank you um, for those words, man. For those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Well, it's about exactly what it, it sounds like. It's, a, it's about a, a love triangle between three senior citizens, a man and, and two women. And what is so fascinating about it is I can't believe you wear this film got inspired from it's 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 so incredible so please let us share us like where this turned into a feature because it's it's an amazing story well it's based on a on a photo series um that a friend of mine Isadora Kosofsky did she's an amazing photojournalist she works in the prison system with the elderly a lot of social justice work and we were friends and and we wanted to collaborate on adapting one of her projects mm -hmm. that she had done she spends a few years with her subjects and I uh, was always drawn to seeing your love triangle. It was so cinematic, the photographs. And so uh, she, uh, I just said, tell me everything that you remember from your experience with them uh, over those, those three years. And we, we wrote all this stuff down and had all these notes. And I said, I think this, I think this is a feature film. I think mm -hmm. there's a feature film here. And uh, then it was a few years of putting the script together and, and trying to put the financing together and get the team together. And then now here we are four years later and the film is complete. You're an accomplished actor as well, and I was so fascinated to find, I was like, who directed this film when I saw this, these incredible, uh, experienced actors performing? And I'm like, this guy is UK, and you're so young. Mm. And I was like, wow, what an undertaking of a film to take on. What, what was that experience like for you, particularly sort of being an accomplished actor and then taking a director's seat as well? Well, you know, as, as an actor, you get, to you get to work with a lot of different directors over the years. So. You know, for me, through that experience, obviously you learn so much about being on set and about, uh, you know, what works and what doesn't and what you'd hope for as, as an actor as far as creating an environment for the actors, because that's really what it's mm -hmm. about. So, I mean, I was lucky that these incredible actors trusted me mm -hmm. uh, to do this film, but really I, I just tried to create an environment that I would have hoped for uh, over the years as an actor, was just to really just create a space for them to for them to just do their thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really uh, what I learned uh, yeah. is most important. You know? Well, what, uh, Kelly, I, I, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. I was just captivated by these characters. Mm -hmm. It was just an experience that I, I've never experienced before because I'd never seen this style of character before. It was just so, their stories were so strong. What was it like for the casting process for you? And did you feel like when you found them, you're like, wow, I'm so lucky right now? Yeah, you know, it was difficult because they're based on real people. Mm. So it was, it was wanting to only capture not so much what they look like, but really their essence, you know? Mm. And, um, and there's not, you know, there's not that many <laughs> actors uh, of that age who, who also would be part of the independent spirit of being okay with not having dressing rooms mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so uh, really it was just, it was getting lucky. Uh, it was almost these kismet situations. You know, I met, I met Marlin at a film festival years prior. Uh, we met Tom at an acting workshop and then Tom brought Angie, so it wasn't really a traditional casting session. Mm -hmm. It was just, it just sort of happened as you sort of are searching for these, mm -hmm. these ideal people. So. You, what I loved the way it was shot and the way you directed it is, as I said, you just left us in moments. You left us in moments where sometimes you just, it, it moves too quickly or doesn't just tell us the whole story we want to see mm. and you just kind of just left us there in the emotions of these three great beings was that something that you really wanted to sort of capture on film as well absolutely you know i knew that 
you know, the script is one thing, and you have something that's on the page, and it reads a certain way. But I knew that once I got the right actors, it was really just what is in between the lines. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have great actors, they really create the most important moments sometimes are, are unspoken between two lines of dialogue. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was really, like I said, just creating the space to allow them to to, to allow their characters to, to flourish, and, and mm -hmm. they were just so wonderful um, in that type of environment of just being, you know. We had a really amazing team of people. It was so wonderful to see at the event, just, you know, the people that have been supporting you along the way. Um, you had some great producers. How, how, did, how, do you, uh, how did you come about bringing all of your amazing people together, particularly in your, your producers? Because it's an undertaking to take on an independent feature film yeah. um, in terms of finances and fine locations, all those things. How was, how was that process for you? Well, it was a gradual process. You know, when we finished the script, we had no idea what to do. So we said, I think we gotta raise some money. But I had worked on a short, I, I directed a short film. So I brought it to my DP from the short film and mm -hmm. he said, I love this. I have a producer who I think could produce this amazingly. So he brought him on. And it was a slow process of, of uh, you know, we shot a little teaser and we were sending it out, spreading it around and that brought on another producer. So it was, over the year, it was just slowly people believing in the project and the film. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, I, th I think it was, it was a lot of luck as well, mm -hmm. just the people who uh, gravitated towards the subject matter. You know? Well, I think the subject matter, but I think people wanted to work with you as well. And I think that's something that people tend to forget is that you're leading the way forward for, for everybody and how they feel, how they process the script, how they work on set. And I think that's a credit to you. Um, speaking of your DP, he got a lot of praise last night from from your cast in particular, John, John was John, John, John Kang. John, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Like how? So obviously you've, you're you're an actor. So you can definitely work with the actors and come from an actor perspective. How do you work with your DP personally, or did you kind of let him just kind of explore? It's a very close relationship. You know, we had been friends and we had worked together before. And John is he's he's a writer. He's also a director in his own right. So, uh, really, him and I are inseparable you know, before the film and during the film. Um, and we had such an understanding of what we wanted to do because we had worked on it for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think he trusted me and I trusted him. And uh, that relationship is so essential to be on the same page. And John really, like Marlin was saying, you know, he really gets in the scene. He almost becomes one of the actors. Mm -hmm. And you can't teach that, you know. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a sensitivity that he has. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was just, again, very lucky to work with an amazing team, including John. No, really, really, really. I, I think um, what's amazing as well is that you just capture every one of your actors in, in complete vulnerability at, at some points in, in the film. When you've got those scenes that you know, ask so much of your actors, whether it be nudity, whether it be just a very vulnerable moment. How, how do you as a director, how do you approach something like that? You know, what, how do you work with your actors and stuff like that? Like, do you kind of let them explore themselves, you know, and just kind of feel the scene? How do you, how do you, how, what's your process for that? Well, I think it's really essential to build a, a trust and a relationship mm -hmm. before you start shooting so that they trust you. Because it's really about, again, so much of it as a director, I think, is creating an environment where your actors feel safe mm. and feel comfortable, do you know? And not in, a, in an environment of tension or, or, or fear or, or, or rush. And so really, I think we develop that friendship and that trust. And, uh, and then really, it's just about being sensitive to, yeah. to the environment and what's going on. I mean, there's a lot of difficult emotions. There's mm -hmm. a difficult, uh, it's difficult characters to live in. And so really, it was just, it was all based on trust, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of, one of the things that I actually really love to, to, to hear from you is that I think you have made a film that is going to resonate with a lot of people for different things, which I love. Mm -hmm. And it's, there are certain things that are going to hit home for people. Maybe they've learned something, experienced something in their own lives, or with, you're teaching an audience as well, which I love. For you as a director, taking this from these beautiful photographed documentary, what did you want your audience to take from it? You know, it's hard to think of what you'd want them to take from it. I was, I'm never trying to teach anything or really say anything. I think it was really just about being true to, to the, the photo series and what that came from, which is really just about connection between mm -hmm. individuals, but flawed individuals, you know, because mm -hmm. we're all flawed and we're all trying to make connections, whether it's friendship, romance, 
intimacy. And I really think that that's so embedded in the human spirit. And so really, if you just try to capture just that, mm -hmm. it's going to affect people uh, on a human level. Yeah. You know? And so really, I think that's what I would hope for is just people seeing themselves in, 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 the, in the characters. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't feel this, obviously, because you're watching it, but I feel like you you have such a great like spirit. I can see why people feel safe on your set, because you, oh. he creates a really <laughs> comfortable atmosphere. So, you know, you've either got it or you haven't got it, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so, no, but I think what, what I love as well, which, you know, sadly, we've got a lot of things to overcome in our industry, and it's our duty to do so. I love that these three central figures were seniors. We don't see it enough on screen. And they've got so much life experience, and a lot to tell, and a lot to learn from. Was that something as well that was like such a beautiful thing, just to kind of see people that have experienced so much more life than both of us, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, and through their wonderful performances, you felt so much of what they've also been through as well. Absolutely. I think even with Isadora, you know, our, one of our objectives early on was we, we hadn't seen uh, senior citizens portrayed in in a certain way. You know, they're always uh, the, either the, not always, but most of the time, either the butt of a joke or, or somebody's grandmother. And so we really wanted to try to capture um, this active, uh, romantic uh, um, life that, mm -hmm. that you don't really see, I think, too much mm -hmm. in, in, in film. Uh, so, of course, you know, having these actors who've lived these in incredible lives and have so much experience and, um, you know, again, it was just, I was so grateful that they trusted trusted me being being uh, younger uh, to you know portray those emotions. But I think it's ageless. Emotions and romance and, and the human heart is is really ageless. Mm -hmm. So even with John, the DP, we wanted to approach it not so much. Okay, these are senior citizens, but these are just people, you know. And so you have people in their mid twenties who who really relate to the film as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. you know? What was the experience like for you, Kelly? To you know, this has been a four year process and then to have your film in front of a live audience, especially with lots of people that were involved in the film, your friends, mm -hmm. your family, an audience, a new filmmakers LA, how was that experience of the event for you? Oh, it's always terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because obviously it was amazing because, you know, the, a lot of the crew hadn't seen it before. So, so many people came together and put in their time, a lot of times unpaid time mm -hmm. to create this thing. So really it was just, uh, it was wonderful to just have everybody ex experience that and show the mm -hmm. film. But of course, you know, you, you, you create this thing and, uh, and you know, you, people are sitting there watching it for an hour and a half and you just hope that, that it, it, it I don't know, that they spend their time wisely in a way. Yeah. Um, oh, they, oh, they did. Yeah. <laughs> I, you actually, it was interesting because even though I'd spent, you know, the whole time watching this film, I, I was left like, I, I wanted more. It left mm -hmm. me wanting more. It's like, but what happened? What, what's going on? Like, you know, or can I just go and give him a hug? It felt so real. It was mm -hmm. just very powerful like that. So mm -hmm. I, I definitely feel like you gave us that um, for sure. What is next for you? Uh, a few things. I'm, I'm uh, developing or developed a TV show that I'm just starting to pitch, and I have a couple other feature scripts that uh, that are almost finished. So, so, so we'll see. You know, I think going through this process, when you realize that in order for something to really sustain the years that it takes and all of the struggles that it takes to make something, you really, really have to believe in the story. Mm -hmm. You know, and it really has to be that thing that you would die for in mm -hmm. a way. Uh, and so, uh, so yeah, we'll see what, what grabs first, but, but uh, yeah, a few things. The great thing is that I was going to ask you, actually, but you answered it already, which was, uh, you know, any advice that you give. And I think believing in your story is so important. And it's amazing how, from a perspective of someone who works in film and, and watches film, programs film, I... Uh, watched your film and you know I believed in the story but I also could feel sometimes you can notice how like when a good team is together because mm. it shows on camera it mm. really does and I think you certainly provided that for us as well which was great I think you've made a film in which it's not just a film to be entertained by but I think many people could see to learn and experience and, and I think I'm, I'm, I want this to go everywhere so that mm. people can get to experience what you've created because I don't I think everyone's going to take something from it and differently as well which mm. I think is 
a beautiful thing. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing much more of your projects. I'm really happy you brought this film to us. Thank uh, you. Seeing Love Triangle is fantastic. And uh, Kelly, just keep on being the multi-talented person you are. <laughs> um, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you for Appreciate having it. me and for having me at New Filmmakers. It's such an honor.